Guys, this C8 Corvette giveaway along with 30,000 hours cash ends tonight at midnight, guys. And we're gonna do something super special for the final hours. And we're gonna do 100 free bonus entries on orders that are $50 and above. That's literally $100 worth of free bonus entries, guys. That sucker right there, one of you guys is gonna get to take that sucker home. Don't miss out on this opportunity of a lifetime. That thing is an absolute animal. So check out goonsquad.com, check out all the official rules, copy some gear, and you might be the one. You gotta be certified to order this, and you gotta be certified to actually install this right here. So we already found the guy, and he's right here. But dude, this, this front end fits up way better after we changed that bar, welded it all in. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna continue working on our Mercedes AMG GTS. As you guys know, we were kind of all over the place the past couple of videos because you know what? Life happened. But you know what? We are ready to get back into it right here. And we're gonna try to get this sucker finished up before you know it. We finally got all the parts that we need. We got a little pile right here, but it may seem little, but this is some huge parts that's gonna allow us to finish this sucker up. We finally got some structural pieces that we couldn't order from any dealership, but you know what? We found these suckers online. We'll crack those suckers open here in a little bit. Also, we got another big package right here, and you might be wondering what this is, but I'll go ahead and tell you guys that that right there, what you see is not what this car is gonna look like. So a few things happen there too. We'll go over that a little bit later, but let's go ahead, crack open this stuff right here, show you guys what we have, and then we're gonna go ahead and start swapping some parts out. So we just cracked open some super important parts, some parts that you have to be certified to get and some parts that we ruined on our first test drive. Like this radiator right here, of course, you know, we completely destroyed it, but we got a new one. We can go for our second test drive and we got some uh, scoops and ducts for the right side of this car right here. We have some good ones there. They're just a little bit dented up. So we got some brand new ones just to make it nice and pretty. Also, we got some super important pieces right here for the front. This is a longitudinal member right here. So couldn't find this from the dealership or couldn't get it from the dealership, but we finally found it direct from Germany. So super happy that we got this. Should be a simple piece to replace. As for this piece right here, it's another one of those structural pieces. You gotta be certified by Mercedes to even get this, but you know what? We finally were able to track this down direct from Germany as well. And this goes into this area right here. So the reason why we need this is because stuff is not really lining up 100%. So I think if we replace this, everything's gonna fall into place and then we should be able to save this quarter panel with a little bit of body work. But you know what? You gotta be certified to order this and you gotta be certified to actually install this right here. So we already found the guy and he's right here. He's the perfect guy for the job. He, he, I don't think he really talks much. <laughs> certified Merce <laughs> Mercedes guy. I think it. I, I think in order to get certified, it really does take like two years of training and then a bunch of money. So, you know, luckily we found our way around the system with this guy right here. So you ready to get this done? <laughs> let's go ahead and get some stuff done here. I think we're gonna start in the back. Let's go ahead and try to pop that sucker out and try to test fit this one.
All right, guys, so we finally test fitted this new piece right here after we removed the old one and did a little bit more straightening out here and there, but this new piece actually popped in there really well. But once we started like putting all the other pieces on, like this piece over here, as you can tell, I mean, this stuff just, it was not lining up. We were trying to figure out what's going on. We even try to put this bumper bracket up to it, but it looks like there's still like a big gap right here. And we even kind of like mocked up the bumper just one time just to bring it here just to see how well it lines up. It almost looks like this quarter panel is just completely twisted, warped. Who knows what's going on? We straightened out this, uh, this what do you call tail light housing as best as we could. We even put new rivets up top. But still, man, this thing is just giving us a hard time. Probably because the way it was wrecked or most likely just the aluminum. I mean, once you bend this stuff, it'll probably bend everywhere else and you can't really tell where it's bent at. But dude, this thing is just a headache right now. You know what I mean? It is, man. We might bring in that Mercedes tech we, back in. He dude. left early, so we may have to call him back in here. So we can't move without him. But sometimes you just got to put a pause on things. You know what I mean? You got to sit down. You got to really think about it, where you're pulling it and whatnot. But I say we pause on this and we move on to the next probably best thing in today that's going to happen or in this video is what's in this box right here dude this thing is going to be sick what is that oh let's, let's put that away but this is going to transform this car we got an awesome looking front end but apparently this is a completely different looking front end and we'll tell you guys exactly why we got this and what's going on but anyways let's just go ahead and pop this stuff open and see what it looks like So we cracked open this box right here. And as you guys can tell, we got a brand new front bumper and also brand new fenders. And look at that right there. That looks pretty dang sick right there. And these fenders look pretty clean. But to be honest, after seeing it in person, I am still leaning towards our original GTR style right there. I mean, look at this. Let's just go ahead and get a close look at this front bumper right here. So this is just completely aftermarket, completely custom right here. It looks pretty dang aggressive, man. That just looks absolutely insane. The fenders as well, look at this. They got like some cool little pop outs right here. If you look at it from the back and the low louver is a uh, pretty, pretty nice as well. But I personally like this louver a little bit better because it's a little more slim. You know what I mean? This one feels like it just overtakes this, this whole entire fender right there. And it doesn't look squared off. It looks a little funny to me too. This is my personal preference. How you feel about it, dude? I mean, uh, me too. After I seen this in pictures, I was like, it looks pretty good. But once you see it against the GT uh, R style bumpers and front bumpers, I think the the original one plan was a lot better looking. Yeah, you know? and the main reason why we got a whole different kit is because this one actually the GTR kit actually arrived a little bit damaged. So. It, and we'll show you guys the damages right quick. Look at this. So the front bumper looks beautiful. You can't even tell. You won't even be able to see it, to be honest, right there. But it is a little cracked right in the smack dab center right there. And that is carbon fiber with resin. So it can't just be sanded and just clear coated and be fixed like that. You really got to sand it down completely down to that carbon. And you got to be super careful not to actually hit the carbon weave or it's going to be done. So... We contacted the company and uh, they were actually able to get us a different style one in time for us to finish up this project. But if we wanted to get another one like this exact same, it would have took like a whole month or something because everybody yeah. buys them. And there's here. cracks right here. You can see how it pops out. There's cracks right there on both sides yeah. where the headlight is. So there's going to be a good bit of fiberglass work. And we got new fenders because one of these fenders actually has... Yep. A decent amount of cracks. Yeah, in it. so the shipping company that actually shipped these, it, it, they completely like dropped the box or something because there was a bunch of holes in the box. So 
Um, that's exactly what happens, you know, with stuff like this, especially super delicate parts like this. I mean, they are pretty strong, but you know what? It seemed like that box was dropped super hard. But yeah, this right here, you can't even repair this carbon fiber right here. I think the, the only way we could actually uh, use this fender is if we just completely paint this the same color uh, as the car is going to go. Yeah, much. which will will not look bad. I mean, that'll look still super good. good. We'll just yeah. have carbon right there, which is not a big deal. If we end up doing that, we'll end up fixing these parts and just spraying them all in. Yeah, I think that's going to be the route that we're going to go for sure. I actually love that a lot. If we got to spend a little bit extra time to fix that, we're going to attempt it. But let us know your guys' thoughts on this kit right here versus the actual GTR style kit. We may end up painting both just to yeah. see what they look like, you know? Toss them both on. I mean, this act, I've seen pictures of it all painted. It looks pretty dang aggressive. Super unique, but almost not as aggressive as this right here. It, there's more going on here, but this one right here is still aggressive. You know what I mean? Yeah, this looks like a GTR bumper. That looks like a S-Class bumper, you know what I mean? Kind of, yeah, it kind of almost looks less aggressive so yeah. um i guess we're gonna figure out what we want to go with a little bit later you guys let us know as well but i think as of right now uh, maybe we should jump onto this front end start working on this front bar right there and save the rear end for a little bit later it out guys we finally got this bar installed for good and i mean you can't even tell that that was replaced i mean can you point at which part of this puzzle right here was replaced can Dude, you that me? looks original i mean that looks good right Dude, there that turned out super awesome the welding went super smooth a lot of times with aluminum welding i mean it does you know take a lot of adjustments but look at this bar right here, dude. We literally threw at least a thousand welds on that thing. We lit that thing up. We lit it up, man. Almost melted that thing in half, but we finally figured it out. And look how beautiful everything is. Dude, this thing is solid, man. It ain't going anywhere. We applied seam sealer like factory. And also we went ahead and painted it out of a rattle can just to clean it up. And man, that looks so good right It's there, ready man. for that front end to be thrown on, man. Dude, exactly, man. I wish the back end went as smooth as the front end. I know, you know what I mean? Man. But I mean, it was super easy to line this thing up. I mean, it bolts up right there, bolts up right there, and then you just gotta just do like a little finger adjustment from there to here. No problem at all, No dude. problem, easy. Dude, super happy with that right there. I think what we're gonna do right now is probably fit up this front end with a new fenders and new bumper just to see what we think of it with it on the car because i know we're still leaning towards the gtr kit but you know what we got to see it for ourselves so i think we're just going to go ahead and see how everything lines up on the front here and then we're just going to show you guys what it looks like
Nice. Yeah, after seeing it, it actually looks pretty good, but nice. dude, this this front end fits up way better after we changed that bar, welded it all in. I mean, that thing looks sick. Of course, the hood, we need new hood hinges, which we got. We just got to throw them on here, but we just we just had to look at that, man. That looks sick, dude. Dang, yeah, after just seeing just the kit arrive, and just having it not on the car it definitely doesn't look i think as good as that but when it's on the car i actually like it a little bit more it looks sick honestly we'll probably end up painting having both, both having both kits and then throwing them on painting them both just to see what it looks like but i mean that just looks aggressive anyways the carbon it just looks crazy the way everything is just flowing the fenders do look good they're just a lot different they're not like a original replica you know these are like completely different style fenders which i mean they don't look bad man they don't yeah exactly no. they don't look bad at all and also the fitment is just perfect super on the, good. the door right there super good fit man i mean with the bumper and all of course we just got it mocked up here but actually it's some really well uh fitment on this kit Dude, right here. i am super excited to actually have this stuff painted which is coming right up i mean we're basically done with the whole entire front end yeah front end is done now we just gotta bug around with that rear end man we gotta do something with it we may have to throw a couple knuckles at it, or we may have to bite the bullet. You never know what could happen. You Dude, know what that, I mean? that quarter panel right there is a hefty one right there, $7,000. And it looks like this is almost good right here. Just needs a little bit of body work, but we just can't seem to figure it out. That we'll aluminum, that. man, that aluminum is beating us up, but we're fighting back as hard as we can. Maybe we'll end up fixing it, who knows? But that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. We're gonna have this thing ripping around before you know it, but thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you next time. Peace.